Do you struggle with coming up with new trading strategies? Are you tired of coding and backtesting your strategies manually? Say goodbye to the frustration of manually generating new trading strategies and backtesting them. Say hello to the two powerful products, ChatGPT and ResearchBin.ai, that will solve your trader's block. With the power of ChatGPT, traders can generate ideas for trading strategies quickly and easily. And with ResearchFin.ai, you can implement, backtest, and iterate on those ideas quickly and easily without any coding required. ChatGPT is a language model that has been trained on vast amounts of data on every topic, including those related to the financial markets. It uses a process known as natural language processing to analyze the text that it has been trained on and generate new text based on given prompts. When a trader provides a prompt to ChatGPT, the model uses its understanding of financial market patterns and trends to generate text that suggests different aspects of a trading strategy. It may suggest different setups, entry and exit rules, using indicators or other elements from various content related to trading strategies that it has been trained on. To provide you with an example, here we have provided a simple prompt to ChatGPT to generate an idea. ChatGPT is not perfect, and its suggestions should be considered cautiously. But it can be a valuable tool for trading strategy idea generation, researching, and exploring different market approaches. This is where ResearchFin.ai can help you research and test these AI-generated ideas and iterate on them to explore if you can develop a trading strategy that fits your need. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced trader, ResearchFin.ai is designed to help you succeed. Let's show you how. First, let's look at the various rules that ChatGPT suggested here. Very simply, the setup can be interpreted as those stocks where the 20 period simple moving average is below the 50 period simple moving average. The entry is when the 20 crosses over the 50. There are two exit conditions. First is a 1% stop loss from entry price. And second is when the 20 cross under the 50 again. Now let's explore how we can implement this on researchfin.ai. On researchfin.ai, we click on the editor tab and then click on new to start a new trading strategy. Let's give this strategy a name, say chat GPT strategy. Now we provide the rules for setup, entry and exit. It is very simple to configure the rules using the UI based rule builder and the various built in functions. We already have a built in function for the simple moving average or the SMA. So we can set this up really easily. We just need to browse through the list of functions or search for what we need. First, let's configure the setup rule where we specify that the simple moving average of the 20 day close price should be below the simple moving average of the 50 day close. Note that this trading strategy is configured on the daily granularity and so we specify 20 and 50 into the period parameter of the SMA function. Great. Now let's proceed next to the entry rules. Here we need the SMA 20 crossing over SMA 50. We again have a built-in function for crossover. Let's use that to specify the simple moving average of the 20-day close price crossing over the simple moving average of the 50-day close. In this, we want the 20 to be below 50 for at least two days to qualify for the crossover. We specify that in the period of the crossover function. And next, we want this whole expression to evaluate to true to generate the entry. With that, we can proceed next to the exit rules. Here we have two conditions and so we will use the OR clause to specify the criteria. First is 1% stop loss. We have a built-in stop function. In this, we will specify minus one for the value and percentage for the type. We want this expression to evaluate to true as well. Next, we need to configure the rule where the simple moving average of 20 crosses under 50 as the other exit criteria. Again, we will use the cross under function to specify the rules.
Here we are okay to exit if the 20 crosses under 50 after just one day above it. With that we are done configuring our trading strategy. All we need to do is save this strategy and then run the backdist. This strategy resulted in 3,508 trading opportunities in past three months. In this case, the win rate is only about 21%. But like we have always mentioned, win rate in itself doesn't quite tell much. As such, we need to look at in combination with other factors. The profit factor of 1.56 is good. Typically, a strategy that has a profit factor greater than 1 is considered to have an edge as the profit made over multiple trades outweighs the losses. On an average, the trades are held for 10 days. The reward to risk ratio is phenomenal at 5.82. It is a positive expectancy system with the average expected return from a trade at 1%. The Kelly percentage shows what is the maximum portfolio that should be allocated per trade for this strategy. The value at risk at 95% shows the highest common loss for any trade that can be considered non-random. We also see that a certain number of trades were open at the end of the period which the backtesting system closed. Below, we can see a distribution of the return as well as the probability of losing and winning across all the trading opportunities identified by this strategy in the three-month period. The individual trades are listed here. Clicking on any of the trades, we can visualize the entry and exits on the chart. From the table, we can sort the trades either ascending or descending by their return. Sorting ascending will show us the worst performing trades. Similarly, sorting descending will show us the best performing trades. Going through the individual trades will help us understand how the strategy actually plays out. This provides a deeper understanding of the strategies that we can then use to modify or adapt the strategy to our needs. So far, we have analyzed the strategy using all the trade opportunities that it identified. But in reality, we all have a limit to the maximum number of trades that we would take at any given point in time based on our portfolio size. In the multiple portfolio simulations, we can analyze just that and see how selecting a different subset of trades would impact the metrics. The simulation results show the value of the different metrics for each portfolio simulation. This is very important to understand the true performance ranges of the strategy. The spread of the lines shows how different selections of trades based on the portfolio constraints would create different outcomes. One of the reasons that backtesting is often criticized is because most software just provide a single scenario, that is, a single portfolio simulation result. And this doesn't reflect future performance, as the trades would never present themselves in the exact same order as that of the single scenario. This is why multiple portfolio simulation is absolutely critical to make backtesting useful to show how things can vary in the real world. That's not all. You can go back and edit your strategy, either modify the rules or add additional criteria based on your analysis of the results to see if they help adapt the strategy to meet your criteria. For example, say I am interested in adding two conditions to my setup. I want the close price to be above the 200-day simple moving average. And the 200-day simple moving average is to be sloping up for at least 20 days. Then I save my strategy and run the backtest again to reevaluate the results. It is that simple to do iterative research on researchfin.ai. In this video, we have just scratched the surface of what is possible with researchfin.ai. We are launching soon. So if you already haven't done, sign up for an invite today on our website at www.researchfin.ai. Also, for more insights on systematic trading and trading strategies, follow us on Twitter at researchfin.ai. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Happy trading! and see you soon on researchfin.ai.